welcome to RDLP. I'm your Prince of Play, Solon, and we are, uh, where did we last leave off with Long Live the Queen? We made it to the ball. We actually made it to Gwenelle's ball. Uh, so, A, within context, context of the story, this is our first time getting to see what, like, an actual coming-of-age ceremony is going to look like. Uh, within context of the game at large, this is our halfway point. And within context to us, our Let's Play of it, um, we are now farther than we've ever been in the game. So now we are in completely mysterious water. Uh, no idea what's going to happen next. And I'm expecting the real stuff to happen now. We've now we're now at week 28 of 40, which means that we are only 12 weeks away from having our birthday party. Um, it also means that the skill checks are going to get a lot harder and a lot more real. And if I remember right, we are maxed out or maxing out on our uh, on only like a couple of skills. Like we don't have military, we don't have history. We have abandoned those completely for better or for worse. We are focusing on Lumen. We are focusing on uh, not conversation, but I think it was like public speaking or demeanor or something. The stuff that's like presence and poise and those things. We've got those things down. Um, now it's time to start maxing on stuff. We've made a couple mistakes here and there. Couple little like misclicks that have costed us a week or so. Um, and we've learned a lot about how this game works. So with everything that we have so far, let's push forward and see if we can become a queen. Gwinnell's party is lovely. It's not nearly as glamorous as your own upcoming birthday will be, because our birthday's gonna be ballin', but it's still a major event on the notable, the noble social calendar. On, you know, Queen Facebook, everyone who is anyone is present at this gala. So let's see if someone tries to poison us at the ball, or someone, maybe, maybe someone gets jealous that we are uh, going to be the next to become queen. Or maybe someone's just looking for our hand in marriage. Uncle Laurent and your younger cousins are here, but Charlotte and her mother are not. Apparently Charlotte was ill! Ooh, I'm never gonna get to hang out with Charlotte! God, I got to hang out with her like for five minutes! And they're like, nope, no Charlotte for you. No Charlotte ever. Arisa, the Duchess of Lilla, is present, but she somehow always manages to avoid talking to you when you draw near. Uh, we owned Arissa. There are refreshments and dancers and musicians and polite conversations, and one or two not so polite. The Leek Countess of Dis will not be shoved aside. <laughs> Alright, nobody's dissing on you, Dis. Gwinnell, Duchess of Sudbury, Mother, it's my domain now. I need space for myself. I'm a grown ass woman now. You have your own lands to manage. Go home. I'm I'm the Duchess now, and you have to respect me. Just because you're of age doesn't mean you know everything, young lady. You need my advice. You don't need her. You don't need her, Gwinnell. This is my home. It has never been yours. Ooh. Dang, I hope I'm like this badass when I'm Gwinnell's age in like 12 weeks. Look at her collar. Look at that. That's a badass collar. Before you can back away, their gazes fall on you. They wait expectantly for you as near queen to settle the dispute. <laughs> this, is, this is not my monkeys. This is not my monkeys. This is not my circus. Ah, and I failed my flattery test. Yeah, I need to pick up conversation a lot. I feel like I'm low. So, are we gonna side with Gwinnell, who is my friend? and this is her party? Or do we side with her mother, who honestly has a lot more power <laughs> and has a lot more stakes in this? Um, like, do we, do we do what we want with our gut? Like, what the feeling in our gut? Or we go with the smarter, more political move by siding with her mother? Ah. <sighs> I really want to side with Gwinnell, but I know that I'm out on my own here. I don't have my life preserver of knowing what's going to happen next. I think I'm going to side with her mother. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
much. Listen to your mother. She loves you and she deserves your respect. I'm sorry, Elodie. I'm sorry. I feel like awful about doing that. I'm plus one yielding. I think that means that my, uh, my chill was broken. That perfect evenness mood that I was maintaining. The Duchess of Sudbury and I must command respect of my own. Man, I feel awful. Because if someone did this to me, I would shut them down. Like, Gwinnell is being very strong. And I think that on my birthday, I will also try to be very strong. If my dad started stepping to me, I'd be like, I'm the queen now. Tough. We're not children anymore, Elodie. If you let people treat you like that, you can't rule them. I'm glad. Gwinnell can lecture me. It's her party. And I deserve this. A bit later, Brienne catches up with you. Sup, Brienne? Who's this lady? This is cool. Hello, Elodie. It's wonderful that you're going to be queen now. I mean, I am sorry about your mother. Thanks, Ella. Thanks, Brienne. But think of the opportunities you're going to have. You're so lucky. It's an odd way of putting it. Anyway, I was wondering, now that you're almost queen and everything, have they told you all the secrets? What secrets? Brienne? The hell do you know, Brienne? Of Lady Mead? Lady Met? Like how to get into the old palace. I've heard it's packed full of treasure. Old palace. No, I'm not gonna know anything about an old palace. The one at Cather Lake, where the kings and queens of Nova used to live. Not a, not the foggiest. Ain't got a clue about what you're talking about, Brienne. Oh. She bites her lip and frowns at you. Well, never mind then. She walks away. So much for wanting to talk to you. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Bye, Brady. Dang, I think I think I missed a whole thread that we could have went down. If I had any lore or history at all. But lordy knows I don't. What's my mood now? Because I thought I was just yielding. No? No, apparently I'm also afraid. I really don't want to be afraid. So, how do we kick out of this? I think we can become cheerful, right? Yielding, lonely, cheerful. Uh, nope, that's everything but angry slash afraid. So, sports would take me to neutral. Attending service would also take me to neutral. Um, but I feel like there's something better I can do, right? No, nothing that makes me... Because I want to be cheerful. Or willful. If I want to go for Lumen, or if I want to go for conversation, cheerful is the way to go. Um, let's not bugger around. Let's, let's go back to neutral. Let's attend service. Let the peace of the ritual calm your heart. There we go. Neutral face. That means, with current mood, mood neutral... Uh, we've got social out of everything. We can always be more social. Get a little extra lumen off the top too, which is cool. Um, we're trying to go for conversation. And I think we can go for lumen too. Where to start? Where to start? Um, you know, since I can't get anywhere in public speaking or court manners, I can't go past 50 if I don't have... I think it's 25 in every skill. I'm gonna have to go for flattery and get through that first 25 so that I can go hardcore and everything else. I'm wondering if there's a better way to do this though. Maybe putting on an outfit or something like that. Hmm. I also need to get my wield magic up. All these things need to be solved. Yeah. So let's do, because we need a lot of this. We've been failing all of our flattery tests. Let's add more court manners, let's add more flattery. And we'll call it a day. And hopefully by next time we can become cheerful, and then that will solve all our problems, right? Although now that I'm thinking about it, I know that we're gonna have another week of events happening after the party, and they're probably not going to make me cheerful. Not at all. I learned that it's important to make eye contact when saying nice things about someone. <sighs> I mean, I guess 
you people watching are all right, but I would never look you in the eye and say it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Matters have come to crisis. Erissa, the Duchess of Lilla, has declared civil war. Well, so much for cheerful. Oh, crap. The hell, Erissa? Why would you do this to me? Is it because I was a jerk to you? What? Apparently, she feels that you're a weak leader, unfit to be queen, and has managed to sway several others to her banner. Who is against me? Show me! Number of minion... Minor? <laughs> number of minions. Minor earls, countesses, the Duchess of Med, the Duke of Ke Keigel. Duchess of Med! Come on, I was just hanging out with Brienne last night. What the hell, guys? Forces of Elath are under Reese's control, of course. Situation in Hellas and Maris... Uh, Hellas... Hella and Marie is less clear. There are ways to increase the number of soldiers you have available. You could offer to pardon various imprisoned criminals in exchange for military service. No. I'm not going to pardon criminals. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> I don't think criminals will make trustworthy soldiers. Very well. Forces are in motion. They will take time to reach their peak. Oh, that's so ominous. Oh. Okay. We're at neutral. Maybe it's time for some magic to happen. Uh, yeah, I, I need to become wheel, uh, willful and not wield, yielding. Yeah, I gotta become more willful. For sure. If I sneak out, I can become a lot more willful. With being a little lonely. Um, dangerous. Do I become a lot more willful or do you become a little more willful? Let's do a little bit. Hang out. Check our funds. Get that, get that smirk on. That way, we can focus on our lumen. Dang it, I still wanted to do more flattery, but it's just... It's not in the cards right now. So little time! So much to do! We gotta learn to wield magic, because we're in civil war. <laughs> like, we're in war now. And we do not have enough power underneath us to really, like, do a lot. I want a hundred in all of this. Really do. It would be very helpful. So, let's take our classes in wielding, wielding magic. There we go. 23, and then another 23 the second week will put us up to hella magic. You learn to create tiny discs of solid light, which can fly through the air and cut into targets. Holy shit! By concentrating, you can create a wave of discontent, which panics or enrages animals in the area. <laughs> so we've got, like, our Krillin attack, where we make, like, a light disc and saw through people. And we've got the Lion King Stampede attack that we can now create. <laughs> and then three more skills the next week, because it's another 23. Create a blade of solid light, which you can wield like a sword and slice through, slice through flesh and stone alike. You learn to direct a beam of searing light through the end of the staff, burning whatever you point at. By concentrating, you can create a wave of discontent which panics, confuses, and enrages other people around you. Hell of a level up. Okay. We've got the real skills now. One week in the hyperbolic time chamber, and here we are, slicing through all of our human peoples and then telling them what to do. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so easy to become queen now that I can just magically persuade them to do whatever the hell I want. Okay, negotiator for the rebels has arrived to speak with you. Elodie doesn't give it. Surrender now, and I'll be lenient. We're not here for sur our surrender, we're here for yours. You have one chance to avoid needless bloodshed. Agree to marry one of Duchess Arisa's sons. She will become your regent and guide the domain into stability not gonna happen, because then I will not become the queen. You'll be allowed to maintain a figurehead title. <laughs> I can agree. <laughs> Game over. Bye, guys. Let's see if we can suggest a compromise. 